of the hour. Later on in the program, we'll talk about how feasible a paperless office is with this woman, uh, Nian Ling Wecker, is going to join us from Long Beach, California-based Laserfish, where they look to go clean and green and get all that clutter out of your environment. And remember, you can find us right here at ASIACONF, Asia Conf at Bloomberg.net. Anytime, okay. Um, I'm I'm from the carbon copy and the uh, the, the age of uh, basically uh, old Xerox machines and all that. Is, is laser fish like the modern day equivalent of micro fish, which we used to have? You know, you go through a machine and you pull up little documents which were filed away on transparencies. Is that what it is? Well, we're much more advanced. I hope we have. <laughs> I hope you're more developed so. yes. than that. Yes, uh, actually, we are going to get rid of the paper. That was my original, uh, you know, the ambition, mm -hmm. but. The reality is people love paper, <laughs> no, and no. Uh, it's a receiving blanket. Uh -huh. So we spent the last 20 years trying to help people to get rid of paper. Uh -huh. And uh, by step by step, I think uh, we actually have over, over 28,000 uh, customer base, and uh -huh. uh, by the, the, a lot of financial institutions actually have uh, you know, got rid of the paper. Seth, um, tell me, yeah, I know you, you, know, you yeah. know this company, so go yeah. for it. So it's more than just getting rid of the paper. Once you digitize the information, yeah. think of all the possibilities that you can do with it in the cross-referencing. Exactly. What, exactly. what help do you provide there? Well, we, we basically, in the, you know, in the initially, we just get rid of the paper and uh, to put them into the storage you know, in, the, in, the, in the cyberspace, for, like I say, and uh, to be able to retrieve any word, any phrases you want to, because there are millions of pages you can find any, get any clue. And nowadays they call Google, but those days we actually you know, did a lot of it for the companies like that. Mm. And... Uh, what we have been do doing is now is to go into the next phase, which is using, uh, uh, in the cyberspace, using workflow. Mm -hmm. You can use workflow, you can find documents, you route documents, do intelligent uh, the routing and uh, the decision making to mm -hmm. help you to make decisions. You, know, you say that people, uh, uh, what you said was absolutely true. You, know, you said that people still love paper. Yes. You know, for e even though you know, people make a big deal about the Kindle and e-readers yes. and all that stuff, I remember distinctly uh, hosting an event with uh, Steve Ballmer in mm -hmm. 1999 I was the host of the event, and he told the audience, he said, mark my words, within five years, uh, this, he was holding up a newspaper, and this, he was holding up Time magazine, are going to be dead. And he brought out their version of an electronic organizer. He said, everybody's going to have one of these. Guess what? It's ten years later, and they yes. still print newspapers, you know, like there's yes. no tomorrow. Just look around the streets of, of Hong Kong. There's yes. always going to be a base for tactile touch, for hard copy, for old-fashioned word, uh, printed word on paper. That's the, word, the real challenge for the industry in a, in a sense. But what I found is the, the, the nice thing about it right now is once your document digitized, it's frictionless. It can meet the, the compliance issue much easier. And now you can do the security much easier. For example, I was reading up beyond your, the, the CPAC. Mm -hmm. And you know manufacturers are moving to China. And uh, Hong Kong is a very interesting place, which you have 90% of the, your, your, your GDP was from the service industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With this, you're having a lot of a paper going back and forth from China to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and you go to Singapore, you know, the, 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 all those countries. Well, we found we had a sweet spot, which, you know, in, in a sense is when you allow you to scan the document in once in the regionally and they give you the flexibility, but centralize in the in the cooperation, allow you the central control. Mm -hmm. And that what you what, what we call the the ECM, Enterprise Content Management, which is a one way be uh, ahead of the document management. The document management is for document, ECM is for content management, which you have in the the electronic documents, the videos. Mm -hmm. Because paper That's can't it. provide any value added. That's you know, right. I have thousands Thousands of contracts that I have, have with different vendors, and to go through each paper contract is ridiculous. That's to be able to know exactly when those contracts are about to come up, mm -hmm. so that we can renegotiate. That's just one small example of what can happen. That's exactly right? mm -hmm. because that was the original idea: to be able to find any word to, on, on a, say, litigations or, or information. But what the beauty is now, for example, if you have a policeman on the police car, mm. he can using his Wi-Fi devices mm. on the, and he'll be able to get the essential information which is on the cyberspace or it's in, in the laser fish. Mm. He can find it. That's why we have 
over the 5,000 uh, state and municipal, you know, the county governments right. using laser fish. A that. lot of this depends on reliable connectivity, though. Exactly. It, it really, really does. I mean, there are things I would not have dreamed of doing on a 56K dial-up, you know, because it would have taken forever to download the annals of history. Or something. God, that's over. <laughs> that's way over. Yeah. Hey, there are places you haven't been, Seth. I know you're well-traveled, but you've got to trust me on yeah. this one. Um, what about, some people are worried about safety, believe it or not. They think that having hard copy, which you can lock up in a safe and keep the key on your keychain, they know it's there. If I keep it in a database, especially if I keep it on a third-party server or something like that, I don't know who might hack into it and find out things like that. That's why certain people still write checks and get bank statements and opt out of, you know, the email or even SMS, uh, you know, alternatives to getting posts in the mail. I waste a lot of time opening mail, and I hate it. Uh, they send that to me, and they email and SMS it to me, because that's their policy right now, which basically wastes everybody's time and wastes well, everybody's resources. Well, this is where the, it's what make our product, which is really very timely. Uh -huh. We actually started saying 20 years ago, and we were early, our, one of the early customers, CIA, yeah. they want to make sure you're secure. The security is you can do redaction. Some yeah. people cannot see the redaction. Some mm -hmm. people can see the redaction. So our, the, now we have in software is a DOD certified, is a mm -hmm. records management, right. allow you to archive so you with, with confidence. Because a lot of in financial mm -hmm. institutions use our product for right. a, the compliance issue okay. and also for e-discovery. Well, so so it's a double-edged yeah. sword. You, you, organization can mm -hmm. secure, the, actually it's more secure. Yeah. Sounds a lot, actually a lot safer. I'm probably still thinking in the microfish age or something. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you very Fun much. One company to work for, by the way. They have ping pong tables instead of desks. Did you know yes. that? No, I didn't know <laughs> we that. We have dining tables. We have a dining table.